and ready to catch a snitch? For the first part, you're going to need a cake of your choice and buttercream. We're going to start by breaking the cake into many pieces. Continue breaking it until you got nothing by crumbs. When you don't have any big pieces left, add 3 tablespoons of buttercream and mix. Add more buttercream as you go until you can roll cake balls that don't fall apart. Leave them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. And for the second part, you're going to need your chilled cake pops, any kind of chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, K-pop sticks and some eatable gold paint. Remember you also need somewhere to melt the chocolate, some brushes and piping bags. While the cables are in the fridge we're gonna start melting the chocolate chips. Once melted a little bit dip the tip of the sticks in the melted chocolate and then insert them into the bowls. Once you're done, put them back in the fridge and wait until they're firm and won't fall from the stick. Dip the cake pop into the melted chocolate, give it a little shake to get rid of excess chocolate and let it dry. When you're done, put them back in the fridge and pass the leftover melt chocolate into a piping bag. Once your cake pops are hard enough, start drawing some snitch-like designs on it. This won't take too long to dry. When they are, make them gold with some eatable paint. If you find your paint is too thick, add some vodka, rum or gin to help it dissolve a little bit. Once painted, they look pretty awesome, but still something's missing. With some melted white chocolate in a piping bag, draw some wings on wax paper. When dry, add the wings to your cake pops using some more white chocolate. And voila, snitches are ready. <laughs>